Today in this episode, I will tell you why Virgin Galactic stock is not yet a $50 stock and let's roll the intro first. What an intro, I love this intro and what a week for Virgin Galactic guys. We are kind of Nostradamus of this stock, right? I mean, so many followers are here, are supporters of the stock and the story and uh, congratulations to you. Let me shake your hand virtually so we can be, you know, more official. <laughs> so we will dive into this Virgin Galactic episode with following topics. First, obviously, we will see how the Virgin Galactic stock is doing over the last seven days since our last episode. Then I have a small surprise after that, uh, a small uh, secret topic that I would like to talk about. And then we will dive into the stock chart. Finally, then we will talk about the $50 stock price that I believe should be there already, but it isn't and we will talk exactly why it isn't there, okay? There is a specific, yeah, psychological reason as well as, you know, just scarcity and much more that we need to talk about. And then we will talk about the brand new timeline, obviously because of the delays and the cancellation of the current one, because of the New Mexico lockdown, we are looking into a brand new timeline. So this will be next. And then finally, I want to talk about the Michael Cole greater performance, because as you know, he is already 100 days more than that with Virgin Galactic already. So I'm super excited to talk about that because I'm super happy. After you smash that like button and also the subscription button, including this little bell, you see this bell, click it as well because then you get notified for every single piece of content and you don't miss any opportunity on the markets. However, the very nice performance of this week was, you know, how Borat would say, wow, wow, Iba, or I like, right? I mean, look at this chart. Specifically, the last day was quite interesting on Thursday, where we just had like a 10% gain and then we little gave up in the end of the day and ended like, you know, 6% uh, plus. However, you know, this is, you know, fantastic because people are recognizing the opportunity here with Virgin Galactic. And I think they oversee, you know, the temporary New Mexico lockdown, which they think, okay, there is the lockdown. They wanted to make the test flight. It's nothing technical. It's nothing against Virgin Galactic, though the stock went down 10%, you remember, on the news on the 16th of uh, November. And uh, yeah, and then basically we went uh, further up since then. We gained since this crash about 12.54 percentage, which you know was more than we crashed before. So I'm super excited that we are now into a more stable, it seems, situation, right? I mean, the stock slowly gains on momentum, slowly get, gets on credibility by those investors. People want to be in, people want to, you know, be secured and so on. So I think that uh, this is super exciting and uh, let's dive into the stock chart. But before we're doing that, I would like to speak about something else. Let's go. Do you see the golden sun over there? You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of GSX, the stable coin that is also a dividend paying asset, but also a huge growth opportunity. But let's go through it step by step. First is an asset backed coin. So as more assets Apollo FinTech, which is the company behind this coin, will add to back the value of GSX will actually increase over time. The first time we spoke about the GSX, it was a value of 0 0.046. 
and now it's zero point one dollars which means we increase more than 100 percent in value now this will happen over and over and over over time as more this gold mines being added into the assets of the gsx and not only that you are you know the holder of the coin you're actually a land right holder which is fantastic because later on when gsx will have the visitor centers over there you can even go and see your own piece of this gold and other copper mines that will be backed as assets for the gsx but let me tell you there's much more because gsx holders are even entitled for a dividend 50 percent of all the output of the gold mines expenses deducted will be able to be paid out to those coin holders moreover you are on a very trusted basis with apollo fintech because in the end of the day there is a company that audited all of this which is for example a huge company like bvs last but not least it's important to understand that all gsx that will be not finding a new owner will be absolutely burned so you don't have this basically inflation right if you having this all big amount of gsx circulating so now is the final question how you purchase this thing well you just use the link below because then you get five percent extra on your purchase and then you are basically having a very easy process buying by credit card or by bank transfer and you get even a bonus on the site itself so make sure to not waste any more time and let's go back to the vlog All right, welcome to the chart of space and Virgin Galactic Holdings is, you know, the favorite of every single, you know, space investor out there, obviously, right? Now, what happened just a couple of days now, and we talked about it, we draw it actually a couple of times now. Now, I deleted all the drawings because I want to start fresh to show you what's important now, okay? So, first of all, we having here a very nice uptrend, uh, which uh, will be important to keep. So, the stock could go, you know, further up in this channel here, which would be fantastic, right? Because then this would mean that uh, someone in uh, 2021 we would be at uh, the last all-time high or actually already here in the end of the of this year but you know i put this as a low probability because this is a very strong channel here uh so maybe we see something uh more more like that right so let's see let's see however though let's see let me just finish that here so maybe we see something more like that so in the lower point we will see maybe 30 let's see depending obviously on the news but uh, what is important or what was important now for Virgin Galactic was actually that they broke through this resistance he was a very important resistance as you can see uh, a couple of times the stock fight it and bounced off and on this line and finally we broke through that means that the next possible you know resistance would be maybe just here around okay around what is it 2550 and then the next resistance actually would be maybe somewhere here okay which would be almost the all-time high of the of the last time so it is now important for virgin galactic stock to actually go further and here you can see they have a very nice place to move higher and then the next hard situation and it's not that of a huge resistance i would say okay but it's a strong one okay let's let's put it this way it's not like a huge one that we went 10 times and couldn't bounce uh, through it it was just one time that we was higher than that so it's a huge one to take but if this is taken guys then I can see Virgin Galactic stock even higher here at uh, 30 level. So it will be interesting, guys. It is now your turn. As of this recording, it's just pre-market time. And we are again 1.5% up. So it stays very, very exciting. I'm still very bullish on this company. Uh, and this is just the beginning. So uh, let's dive into the next category. 
One of those questions that I always get, why Virgin Galactic is not getting higher in the stock price? And this has something to do in which industry and which product they have, okay? So usually you can imagine this kind of company with this kind of brand, with this kind of team, with this kind of mode, with this kind of very, very long competition, with this kind of almost monopoly, usually should trade maybe already at uh, 10 billion dollars market cap even without revenue right we had seen you know a nicola was at 30 billion without revenue so put this to the side what is the reason why virgin galactic is not at this valuation and there's really some concrete answers let me uh, give it to you first did you ever spoke with someone about space tourism if yes then you know what i mean those people are like well, space tourism, this isn't really right. I mean, nobody will go to space and so on. So first of all, the people don't believe it's possible. Okay, they feel like, okay, this is like 10 years away. Nobody will use it. There will be just maybe a handful of billionaires who will do it and so on and so forth. So the possibility of this will be just clear I think after the Richard Branson flight, you know, they will see Richard Branson, you know, very popular guy, very interesting guy. It was all over the news. So this thing is real. I better jump on it. So first, second of all, I think it's really important enough to Virgin Galactic for deliver. I mean, they're working on this product already for 15 years. And they said already multiple times they will go into space, but now it's really the timing where they really go. Right, we shall see this in just a couple of weeks, hopefully. But, uh, <laughs> but you actually will see that uh, with this credibility, it will come more and more people that you know said, you know, I was looking into that, it was interesting, but there was just not enough proof that this is actually you know doing right that, that they start operations. So, people actually waiting for Virgin Galactic, they have it already on the watch list, but didn't bought it yet because they are waiting until the operations start. You know, we are front runners, right? We are running into opportunities because we want to have the first two, three, four hundred percent already while the mainstream media is jumping on it. So this is, I think, another reason. And uh, the final reason, I think it's just, you know, people don't know about the stock. People just don't know about the stock and don't know about the space industry at all, right? I mean, they see some rockets and TV, SpaceX, astronauts and so on, but they are not fully aware how beautiful of huge growth this is. I saw just recently a guy in Indonesia that a asteroid landed in his garden and he sold this asteroid in the internet to a collector for more than one million dollars and obviously this is a huge amount in indonesia so as you can see you know the space industry is quite interesting uh, even with this crazy story so uh, i hope you understand that you know it's a little bit uh, too early but we will be there for very 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 soon for exactly these reasons okay while we had a fantastic timeline that we actually here predicted on this channel in this episode in this series virgin galactic fridays you shouldn't miss any of that in the near future and make sure to follow also the link below there is a link in the description to the membership if you want to join our beautiful membership there's a discord channel that you get with the second tier real wolf or you have even one-on-one with me depending how much money you want to spend on to becoming a better investor so i am super excited that uh, it got a little bit delayed okay i, I will tell you why first it's maybe a great opportunity and a higher probability that Richard Branson flights get moved to the second quarter because as you may remember, the Q1, end of Q1 should be the date for Richard Branson flight. Now with a delay of at least two weeks plus, obviously I think the finding the new flight window to testing all the systems and so on and so forth I think for that we need to have another week so maybe we are looking into three weeks since the delay and that's why this 
put us somewhere at you know mid end of December before Christmas hopefully before the holidays and then we go into holidays and we go into the first quarter and we are going into you know then the the second test flight and then the Richard Branson flight so it will be hard to time it all so I think we will go first with the uh, test flight which will be you know in December then the second test flight maybe in January or February and then Richard Branson flight I think 60% probability will be moved to beginning of Q2 which would be great because then the stock maybe got a little bit uh, cheaper which then gives us another opportunity to load up a little bit of our favorite stock which I like very very much. Guys, as we know, Michael Koglazer as new CEO from Disney is already into position and he's more than 100 days already in position as CEO. And I would like just to express how I really, really start to like him. First, the statement that he is giving is really, really mature. He's very, you know, strong in his vision. He knows what he's talking about, obviously. He knows things that are quite impressive. I will give you an example. In the Q3 earnings call, there was some engineering questions. And I thought, you know, he would say, okay, for that we need to speak with Mr. X. But no, he actually answered it by himself, which was quite impressive. And, you know, how he steered the ship as CEO in the call, uh, even with very tricky questions and specific questions, you know, when will be this $1 billion revenue per spaceport? How many spaceships do you need? You know, he always, you know, especially in those questions, he needs to be very careful, obviously, what he's saying. So he really nicely maneuvered through it without, you know, being angry on those analysts, without being saying too much, without saying too less and giving a very reasonable example. I think this is, has a lot to do with his past in Disney. And I think when uh, they interviewed him for the position, as Shamas said in the presentation call, he said, you know, he just blew us out of the socks when he told us about the vision and the customer experience of Virgin Galactic's future. So we decided to go with him and we think that's a fantastic decision. And I think it is a fantastic decision. More and more what I get from this guy, more and more I really, really like it, okay? So I hope that uh, he becomes a very charismatic leader with a huge presence for Virgin Galactic, I would love to see, you know, him being more active on social media. I think this is the way to go for CEOs these days. I would love to see him, you know, giving more interviews, but I think, you know, now they're having a lot, a lot of work to do because of starting the operations. But once it's going, I think he need to go on roadshows. So he need to be in every single CNBC a month uh, when they talk about space, when they talk about Virgin Galactic, when they have the 100 first customers, when the 10 first customers, the first customers and so on. You know, there's so many opportunities to do that so I'm super excited and I hope you are too.